All right, what is up, A Nation? It's your boy back in with another video, and today I'll be talking about the legendary Shrewd Mouse. It's called the G303. Starting off with it, um, I don't like it purely because I have to hold it very uniquely to other mice as opposed to like from what I used to. Here's a super cool, awesome gamer box that he his his brand of the Logitech. Uh, yeah, right here. It's got Shroud. Yeah, that's his name. Not really. Picks of it, but no face of, of Shroud on the uh, on here, man. I'm kind of disappointed by that. I don't see his dumbass face on here. You know. So far, it's not worth the price in my opinion because it's hundred and thirty dollars. I got it ten percent off, and I, and I still I think it's way too high for for this type of mouse. Like I feel like it, like. The super light is a hundred is twenty dollars more and and this this feels uh more um I, f I feel like it's just way too expensive it should be half the price it should be eighty dollars for this type of, type of mouse the only cool new technology that, that they incorporated was that it's USB C and that it charges it charges full battery in literally half an hour which is awesome in my opinion um and the skates are way better they fly across my um, my uh my mouse pad and I got a normal steer series one which are I don't got any any of those fancy ones so it's honestly like n not much of an upgrade these same switches uh, so let's talk about the history of this mouse first of all so the G303 was first a wired mouse um, it was heavier um, than this it had, a, it had an RGB glow in the back it was a little bit smaller um, it, it was discontinued I think in 2016 and 2015 was used um, it was mainly used by um, well, after it was discontinued, Shroud was was using it. His main mouse, whenever he was doing his Pro and CS:GO, and he used it for for a couple of years. And just because he used the mouse, people wanted to use that mouse because he, check out how famous that guy is, right? So, um, a couple of months ago, they decided to uh, collaborate with Shroud again, since now he's he's butt buddies with Logitech, and they collaborated and they talked to him and how uh, they wanted to wanted to make a wireless version of this, but. Uh, Shroud tweaked it where he made uh, the back of it a little bit longer to fit his hand So this mouse was handcrafted by the gods just for him and no and nobody else Which is, I think is stupid and then like I think it would have been better if It's just to just to give him a special version of it and he gets to keep it because you know He is partnered with them and he's one of the biggest streamers on on this planet And he's probably the wealthiest right now besides like ninja or or xqc Anyways this mouse just feels so weird because I have to hold, I have to, I have to put my palm like more down, I guess. So like, it's like sitting like this as opposed to like other mouse where I have to kind of, I can set like the, my palm a little bit higher up, but this one I have to set it way lower. Basically have it like to the ground, if that makes any sense. That, that's just how I hold mice. But for this one, I, I had to drastically change how I hold it, which is fine and all because like, I mean, it's not meant for my hand. It, it should, they, they just slapped on it and sold it and made an easy buck out of, out of people. But the sense is great. It weighs 75 grams, which is which is okay, decent nowadays. Like most mice, most mice nowadays weigh 60 to 70, and this is, this one weighs 48, 49. Super light weighs 15 grams less, and I feel the difference night and day. That's just my my problem personally, but that's not big of a deal because like. The skates on this thing are really well well made, and let's take it to the website where it takes you all about him. I will say, the scroll wheel does not feel premium at all. Like for a hundred and thirty dollar price, th th this should be way better. At least like the on par with the, with the super lights scroll wheel, where it's nice and smooth, a little bit, a little bit tactile. It just has a better design, in my opinion. I know they wanted to keep it true to, to the old old version of this mouse, but they could have improved the scroll wheel because it's just a, it's just rubber and it's really small and it's super loud and not really well made in my opinion. Like I just don't like the scroll wheel. It's just god awful. Like <laughs> and one other thing is the problem is that like the side buttons are are they're nice and and springy, which is nice. But I think I think this the, the I think this is mouse button four. Um, it's so little, it's hard to actuate because the way it's positioned to put where it's designed for you to put your thumb is like right here, and you gotta keep moving back and forth. 
So you, so you kind of have to hold it with your thumb up a little higher and that can be a little bit annoying sometimes. So I, I've had to change my grip on it multiple times on it. And I've been using it from day to day uh, for, for my training class. And it's just, it's been annoying because it, I, my hand physically hurts because it's so different. But once I got used to it, I did like it, which is a problem because I don't like this mouse, if that makes any sense. And uh, <laughs> I'm just ranting at this point. I, I, I wholeheartedly agree that, that do not buy this mouse. It is actually designed not for you. Like, unless you have, you have Shroud's exact perfect hand measurements, then go for it. Why not? And if you got a lot of money to spare to, to burn, and if you're a, a, a collector, as I say, of game peripherals, why not? You know, but I'm returning this shit uh, the second I, I end this recording. <laughs> because, like, I, um, I, I'd rather I just buy another mouse with the money that I spent on this because this this costs way too much. This is not a good product in my opinion. Everything, the quality, the only the only good thing that I've seen is two things. Uh, again, uh, the default skates are really well made. They're 100% version PTFE, which means nothing to normal people. Doesn't, that doesn't matter. It, it's smooth, it, it, go, it go burr, basically. And um, the, they, ch they finally went to USB-C charging, which is drastically faster. And uh, that's honestly about it. So I don't recommend buying this Bozo's mouse. He's not even that good at video games, honestly. If I played, if I played shooters for twelve hours a day, bro, I'll, I'll be the same level as him. No, no, I wouldn't be. I try to have a life, but oh, look at his bald head right here. But yeah, I mean, good for him. He, he, I'm sure he's making a shit ton of uh, off royalties off this stupid ass mouse that he made well, with Logitech. But I don't recommend any products of, of Logitech Shroud Edition because it's just all the all they slap on is this this stupid logo on on the box that is it it don't change anything um but i need to return this mouse before i start liking it more and more than i use it because i hate it but i want to keep using it so there's got to be some like brainwashing technology to infuse into this thing i will say it is comfortable once you get used to it which i, I suppose for anything um Lastly, the material is actually pretty well made. It looks kind of kind of sketch if you can tell from the lighting right here on the sides where like you can kind of see the inside of it to, to cut down on the weight, but it weighs 75 grams for this little baby thing. Like, honestly, uh, I'm disappointed because this would be just be completely justifiable for this type of quality if it were half the price or at least like 80 90 dollars 100 dollars even would be fine i guess but this is just too expensive in my opinion that's about it see you <gasps> yo chris what look look who's on the wall chris who's that whatever pita pita <laughs> <laughs> Or do I? Pizza?